Is Kalispell, Montana truly the fastest growing city in America or even Montana? In this video, we'll take a look around Kalispell and show you that Kalispell is a huge area with a lot of rural spots and it is growing, but let's take a look around town and show you just how and where it's growing. So welcome to Kalispell, Montana. In the past year or so, there's been a couple different news articles that have claimed Kalispell's the fastest growing city in America as far as smaller micropolitan areas, they call them. And then there's been other articles saying we've just overtaken Bozeman as the fastest growing city in Montana. So I thought I'd show you a little traffic to show you that it is definitely growing. Uh, one of the things that they have done here in the last few years, or it just opened uh, maybe five years ago, I can't remember exactly, but they added the bypass that cuts around Kalispell on the west side of town. Um, it comes in way on the south end of Kalispell and then it pops out up by all the shopping areas that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But the bypass has been great because it's saved, you know, when we drive to Big Fork from Whitefish, uh, you used to have to go right through downtown, which I will show you again here in a minute, through all the stoplights and all the stoplights through town. But now with this bypass, it saves probably 20 minutes, uh, 15 to 20 minutes if you're trying to get through Kalispell than what you used to have to do uh, to get through town. Now you can avoid all the stoplights. They have roundabouts down at the south end. They got rid of one of them last year, um, and I'm sure they'll probably get rid of the other ones because they slow things down on the bypass, but it's still, it's better than it used to be and it gets you in and out of Kalispell pretty quick. So with all this growth, they've been building apartments around town and off to the right here, these are called the Tree Line Village Apartments and they were built in 2017. And they're, as you can see, right along the bypass here at the north end of the bypass. And I looked up on their website and those start at $1,100 a month. And there currently is a waiting list for those. And if you go a little further north, you'll find the Silverbrook Apartments. And these are, there's going to be 228 units. There's going to be a clubhouse. And they have one, two, or three bedroom units. And they range from $1,450 a month to $1,800 a month. And both of these apartments that I just show you do allow pets. So that's a good thing. That's a question we get all the time. Um, and you can get on the websites of these different apartments. And find out their availabilities currently. And here right off of downtown Kalispell, just to the west of downtown Kalispell, they're building 230 apartments. And this is part of the old silo grain elevator complex. They're actually gonna put a restaurant and a bar on top of those old elevators. Uh, but these are set to be ready next year. And they're located right next to the old Kalispell Center Mall, which is just west of uh, Main Street in Kalispell. And a funny story about this mall. So when we first moved back home here to Montana uh, 20 years ago, they were there was developers that wanted to replace this mall, and because it is old, and you know, <laughs> we could you know use a new one as far as malls go, but they were going to replace it up here at the corner of Reserve and 93, which is where you see this big car dealership now located. This used to be a big open field. It still kind of is behind it, but that's where they were going to build the new mall. Well, of course, everyone was screaming, and this went on, it seems as though for a few years, people didn't want it. They didn't want any of this growth out there. They, they thought it should be left as farmland. Well, just back behind that, what I just showed you, all of this started popping up. So it kind of cracked me up that everyone was against all this growth and less than, you know, 400 yards away, up goes a Home Depot and a Lowe's and a Costco and a Target and you name it. So it was kind of funny that everyone was trying to save that corner right there. And then all of this went on, but I guess that's small town politics and a lot of people don't like the growth, but 
it was coming and uh, here's what happened. One of the reasons Kalispell might be growing so fast, there's a Chick-fil-A right there. That is the only one in Montana at the moment. So if you're wondering why the <laughs> growth is so high, we have the only Chick-fil-A. They are building one in Billings and Missoula, but as of now, we've had it for a few years and Kalispell is the only place with a Chick-fil-A. But probably the most famous establishment is right here on your left. That would be Moose's Saloon. It is such a cool place. Uh, there's sawdust on the floor. They have the best pizza, I think, in Kalispell. Um, and it's been there forever, I think, since the 50s, maybe, maybe even before that. Um, just a great spot. So if you're around Kalispell, you definitely need to put that on your list of things to do. So that brings us right into the heart of downtown Kalispell. And this is the old Highway 93 before they, before they did the bypass, like I was telling you, you had to come right through here, go through all these stoplights. As you can see, it's not very wide. And when you add a bunch of semis and all of the, you know, logging trucks, whatever, coming through town, it just, it wasn't a good situation. The bypass has really helped. And downtown is pretty cool. It's, as you can see, very old buildings, very historical. And ever since the bypass went in, a lot of downtown has been kind of rejuvenated. They've been redoing a lot of the stores. And there's just, it's a lot easier to walk around downtown now that it's not the main highway or the main route north-south going through town. So it makes it a lot easier to walk through town and just uh, enjoy the stores and the history of downtown. And then right at the end here, as you can see, is the... Flathead County Courthouse and another kind of landmark in town just a historical you know building that the road actually splits and goes around on both sides uh, it's got the courthouse in here and then on the other side you'll see is a building and I believe the jails in there um, and then they have some more city government buildings uh, a little further south on this road so that is your main street of Kalispell, Montana. So now let's take a look around some other parts of town. This is the east side of Main Street that we just went down, and the east side is really, really nice. It's got all the tree-lined streets, and it's just kind of the picturesque. It's almost like a Midwestern town here with, the, with all the trees, and it's very shady uh, in the summertime with, with the tree covering all the roads. And as you can imagine, in the fall, the leaves are uh, in incredible piles you get around this side of town. And then a little further east, right on the ridge line above Woodland Park, uh, this is the oldest part of town here. And you'll see a lot of the historic houses that were built by the original founders of Kalispell. And there's trees here now, but it used to look over, there's a bluff that drops down. And then you can look straight out to the east, to the mountains that are on the east side of the valley. But the homes here are just huge. And the, there's the Conrad Mansion that's coming up here in a minute on the left. And that is one of the founders of Kalispell. And now it's kind of a museum. They do tours and they have different events for different holidays. They, during Halloween, they have a haunted house in there. And then at Christmas time, they have all these open houses. But here it is here. And they have the old rock wall along the sidewalk. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the most famous house in the town of Kalispell. And again, if you're here, you should check it out and check out the history of town. So let's head outside of town to the east side of Kalispell, which extends all the way out basically to the mountains out here on the east. And like I was saying earlier, one of the reasons... Uh, the Kalispell is probably growing so fast or considered to be growing so fast is because it's a huge area. It spans the valley from all the way to the mountains on the Swan Range on the east side of the valley, all the way back to the left here to the west, as you can see, all the way to Ashley Lake and a little bit even beyond until you get to Marion. Those are all Kalispell addresses. So you'll just you know there's subdivisions and there's houses that are being built out in the country all over but uh, actually the interior of the town that we showed you a minute ago uh, doesn't seem all that big but when you look at the map and you look at all this land that 
Kalispell encompasses, that probably added to why it was ranked as one of the fastest growing cities ever, just because there's so much area to expand and to grow, and it all has the Kalispell zip code. And then if you head out west to the west side of town, this is Old Reserve Drive. This is less than a mile from everything, I, all those stores and everything I showed you, and you no sooner get out of town and it just opens up and there's all this land out here and farmland and this is known as West Valley but again Kalispell reaches all the way to those mountains and beyond these are all Kalispell addresses so whether you're on the east side or the west side there's a lot of open area and it's just a huge huge area that is considered Kalispell. So one of the good things about all this growth here is they just built this new stadium north of Kalispell, in between Kalispell and Whitefish. It's just an awesome facility. Uh, they're still not totally done with it, but we have a new minor league baseball team called the Glacier Range Riders, and they play in the Pioneer League, which is a league uh, that has teams from Montana, Utah, Oregon, Idaho, and Colorado. And like I said, this team that Kalispell now has plays in this brand new ballpark called Flathead Field. Uh, one of the cool things is this is all obviously artificial turf, but even the dirt in the infield is artificial as well, uh, which obviously will help with weather issues and getting going faster in the spring time around here. But I've never seen the actual artificial infield like they have here but uh, during the game it it worked well the <laughs> I was saying that you don't it's not like the old days where you can get a bad hop anymore so whenever someone makes an error at shortstop it's on them it's not because of a bad hop so uh, one of the interesting things about this particular field but it has 2500 seats right now and then they're also building off the first baseline you're going to do this big landscape area kind of general admission. Um, but you've got the mascots. You've got, you know, beer and wine for sale, peanuts. It's it's like a, it's a real baseball stadium here in little old Kalispell, Montana. So check that out as well if you're in town. So if you're wondering about the schools in Kalispell, they have the Flathead Valley Community College that you can see here. And this has been growing ever since we've been back um, it just e each year they add new programs and new uh, buildings but in 2017 over there they actually built dorms uh, so they do have on campus living for the students and I know that there's plenty of good programs that they offer at this school uh, if you want to get on their website you can look into that I don't want to cover that in too much depth but I do know that it's, uh, it's a good school and it keeps getting better. So as far as high schools in Kalispell, this is Flathead High School. This is the original, the older high school of the two. Uh, it's on the west side of town. It's been here forever. Um, and this used to be the largest school, high school in all of Montana. And again, it kind of goes from the map I was showing you and the, the massive area that uh, was being serviced by this one high school. Uh, Flathead was by far the biggest high school in Montana until they built the new Glacier High School. Um, and that, you know, took all the kids from the north into town and they all go to the Glacier High. But Flathead has done a lot of remodeling and upgrading since they built Glacier just to, you know, kind of keep up with the Joneses. Uh, but Flathead was the original. And then here on the north side of town, over by all the stores and the shopping I showed you earlier, this is right down the road from there, also on Old Reserve Drive. But this is the new Glacier High School, and it's a huge, huge complex, very modern, very nice inside. It was, uh, you know, where everybody wanted to go when they first built it. I think it's been there for probably close to 10 years now. Um, but yeah, a nice school right near all of the new stores and everything uh, on the northwest side of town. And if you're wondering about healthcare in Kalispell, this is the campus for Logan Healthcare. It's a regional hospital. So it's again, a huge campus, uh, tons of buildings, 
Um, this is the main hospital building right here that we're looking at. The front door's coming up on the left. But uh, this is a regional hospital, like I said. So it, it services all of the northern tier of Montana and beyond. I know a lot of Canadians would come down here for uh, some procedures just because they could get in down here, unlike up in Canada. It also, the, the hospital in Whitefish is also owned by Logan Healthcare. So all of the valley is uh, serviced by this one company. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.